It is a Friday. I'm snuck back on to campus to use the Glowforge so I can make a, uh, I guess a start switch panel for the 944 because the last time I used a screwdriver, I really screwed up the ignition. So I'm going to build one. Uh, first, I'm gonna draw it up in Illustrator and then uh, use the Glowforge to cut out each part for it. Uh, I forgot the actual piece that I want to use, so I'm going to be doing a test pattern here, make sure it works, and then I'll go home and grab the actual piece that I want to cut. So I'm going to cut some acrylic and go from there. I designed this panel out of cardboard, got the exact dimensions that I want to use, made, made sure it fits, so what I need to do is take this and draw it in Illustrator. Uh, get the exact measurements of each piece so I can cut the holes out perfectly and then have the Glowforge cut it out and then take these off and see if they all fit. If they all fit then I know that I'm good and I can go back home and grab the actual piece I want to cut it out of and go from there. So first thing I'm going to do is take this apart, measure it, and then go through and design it in Illustrator. So here it is, this is my drawing. Um, I have spots for the main power, the ignition, the auxiliary, the uh, USB charger, and the uh, switch to turn on the USB charger. So what I'm gonna do now is grab some acrylic, break it off, turn on a Glowforge, and do a test cut. If everything fits, then I'll know that we're good, um, and then I'll go get the real piece to cut. Sorry about the light, I don't know how to turn them on, so we're just going to use this this way. This piece did not come out that great. Um, it looks like it didn't cut all the way through. So I'm probably either going to have to increase the power or I need to either slow the speed or maybe I'll just do two cuts on each at a faster speed. Maybe that will get it to go all the way through. But I have two spots open so I can at least test the two pieces to see if they fit. So I got this piece fits perfectly. And then we got this one. Oh, I can see I can make that little nipple a little bit bigger so this actually holds in place and not twist around. Right, what I'm going to do is take this and I'm just going to raise it a little bit more on each one.
Now I'm gonna test fit this in the car to make sure that it fits. I guess one of the cool things of it being clear is that I can see if there's any issues anywhere where it's at and see if it hits anything in the back so you can see through it. And then I got a Sharpie here to put where I want to put the screws in and then I'll cut that on the final piece in the glow forge. Let's see how this fits. That switch actually fits really nice right there. It's gonna fit really nice in there. See that it's not grounding out anywhere, and it's actually a really good location for that. Um, this, I believe, the previous owners put in as a kill switch to the coil. Um, so I'm gonna have to relocate that or I might just actually just use it for here. Make this one like an emergency or something like that. I'm not sure yet, but I think this is gonna be really nice. The joys of a four post lift and being rainy so you can't pull any uh, cars out. So I gotta get down through here. Back here at work, I'm going to modify the file to add a couple different changes, tighten up one of the holes, um, and then make a border around it, and then we're going to actually glow forge it in the material, the correct material, and see how everything fits. So let me do some modifications and go from there. redrawn so I am going to hit this and I'll see how it works. I am going to redo this one. I didn't think about it but uh, because of the heat it's actually discolored it. Um, oh man it didn't cut all the way through. I definitely thought it did cut all the way through, but it didn't. Through there, so I'm going to try the a different setting uh, and see if I can just make small cutouts with squares and mess around with that piece. I did this with tape this time. Still didn't go all the way through. And on temp four or five, I'm not really sure. Uh, just had public safety called on me, so um, I'm allowed to be here. It's just people thought this place should be empty when it wasn't, so going back at it. 12 passes. I'm hoping this one works. It's very crispy on the outside here. Uh, yeah. Looks like it was trying to make its way out, but. I might be able to work with this. I'm gonna try popping this apart, see if I can pop this out. I got the piece cut out, but I'm not really sure I like it. Uh, the reason why is with this mock piece, we have these little nubs here, and that helps for this groove here to fit in. Slides in. Hard to do it with one hand, and then it doesn't let it twist around. Because I'm guessing this is ABS plastic of some sort, the difference is that when the laser cuts through it, it actually melts it, and it takes a while for it to actually, I guess, cool down. And because of that, it just adheres to itself. So I did 12 passes to get this cut. And because of that, you can see there is no nub inside there. So this just freely spins inside. I was able to find a piece of black uh, acrylic, and you can see I have the, the nubs there. Um, I'm gonna pop this out and see which I like better. I mean, this can still be used. Uh, I just wanted it to be a little bit nicer. Um, kinda wish it came out the way this came out, but I'm gonna pop this out and we'll see how it looks.
think I'm liking how this one turned out better. Uh, you can see there that the nubs are there for it. Um, so I'm gonna put it together and see how it looks th with this. I decided to go with the thicker one. Uh, I put it on the thinner one and it seemed too flimsy. Like, I figured this is gonna be pretty tough. I mean, this isn't a show car by any means, but it makes it a little bit nicer. Back in the garage, I got everything wired up, now I'm back in the garage. Uh, I already tested it out off camera to make sure everything wired correctly and everything is wired, uh, so this is what I got. Here is the ignition button, uh, that is going to uh, the power and then goes to the starter, then off the main power goes to the main switch, that is going to power up the different things like the computer, the fuel pump. Um, this part here hasn't been actually wired uh, to anything yet, but I have it ready. I think it came out pretty good. I'm going to actually wire it up and see what it looks like inside, but first I gotta remove all these wires that are in there. Let me show you what that looks like. Big thing in this car is there's a bunch of random wires to different things. They have this cutoff here, which I'm not really sure exactly how they wired it up, but I don't really need this switch. I'm gonna have a main power cutoff already inside. Plus I have this power cutoff on the outside too. So I won't need this, so I'm gonna remove all this stuff, figure out why those are wired there. Um, maybe I'll troubleshoot. It seems like someone pulled a bulb out the back. Could be like check engine light or something. I don't know. And then a bunch of other stuff. So uh, this is where I'm going to be wiring the main uh, start panel in. It actually looks like it burnt at some point. Melted in here. So this plug was bad anyways. Got everything wired up. It, there's still wires hanging places and stuff that's not needed. Um, this isn't 100% in yet, but remember before I put it in for good, let's see if it works. So first thing, we'll hit these, then the main. Everything turns on. Awesome. 